Prevent another tragedy like the murders of a mother and her 11 year old daughter in Worcester. Tonight, city leaders are looking for a way to try to keep their streets safe from the gun violence that has rocked their community. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa shows us tributes to Chastity and Zella Nunez. Tonight, this community is still reeling from this tragedy, but now with the two suspects in custody, the question is why did this happen and could it have been prevented? Exactly one week after an unthinkable tragedy, a moment of silence at the Worcester City Council meeting to honor Chastity Nunez and her daughter Zella, who were violently robbed from their family and community. I hope that there's justice for her and her beautiful baby girl. As the grief is settling in, family and friends are still wondering why the beloved National Guardsman and her sixth grader were killed. Anybody that knew her loved her. Very outgoing person. So for two guys to come and do this to her, those two guys, suspects Dejon Belnavis and Karel Mangual, are finally in custody, facing two murder charges each. Belnavis's neighbors here were shocked to see police looking for him and his arrest in San Diego. There was uh, some undercover, like Worcester police, um, and it looked like some state police. There are still concerns about the level of violence after more than 30 rounds were fired into the victim's SUV. This resolution uh, is asking for action against um, illegal guns. Uh, and repeat offenders. In light of the tragedy, the Councilor the Kathleen offenders. Toomey called on state lawmakers to get tougher on existing sentencing laws to make sure that people convicted of illegal gun possession fulfill their entire sentences. Belnavis and Mangual were each facing gun charges for carrying a firearm without a license before the charges were upgraded. She says too many repeat offenders are not being held accountable. If you want to save lives, let's start by ensuring that the consequences are significant enough that people who are repeat offenders will think twice and be deterred by the length of sentence. Belnavis is expected to make his first court appearance in San Diego on Friday. The DA again still working to get him extradited back to Massachusetts. In Worcester, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News.